Um, David, help me, the role of the PET scan, you know, up front for these kind of imaging, and does this help me understand anaplastic versus poorly differentiated? Talk, talk a little about FTG PET in this setting, David. Yeah, certainly. So look, FTG PET, you know, it's got, there's several indications in, in thyroid cancer. Um, certainly staging of, um, you know, more aggressive forms of, of thyroid cancer, so including either poorly differentiated, um, you know, tall cell or, or particularly Herthel cell. Um, is characteristically very intensely FDG avid. Um, so with these images, without looking on a workstation, just based on the color scale, it looks very avid. So certainly SGV max greater than 15. Um, and with Herthel cell carcinoma in particular, um, because of that oncocytic phenotype and a mitochondrial uh, defect in oxidative uh, ph phosphorylation, you know, which is a characteristic feature of that, you can get very, very intensely avid uh, disease, you know, SGV max above 50. Um, it also, so it's certainly helpful to stage and we can characterize, uh, you know, the extent of the disease very accurately. Um, it also provides very important prognostic information. I mean, we can gather that already from other clinical cues, um, but certainly with that degree of the intensity of avidity, um, it also confirms it's more likely to be an aggressive malignancy.